Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys, still at it. This is a pinfire gun, we used it a while ago, and uh, shot a Lego man in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Knocked him flying. I thought, because this fires a very small two millimetre round, would it be possible to aim this at the back of a full-size bullet and set it off? So essentially what we're gonna do is try and fire this nine mil bullet <laughs> using a two mil bullet from that. We're going to try and hit the percussion cap of this and initiate the uh, propellant inside. And I think it'll be a good demonstration of how important the barrel of a gun is for accelerating the bullet. Because without the barrel, I don't think this is going to come out very fast at all. All right, so I think um, it would be helpful to have a basic understanding of what's inside a normal 9mm FMJ. There we go. Okay, so I've done it as gently as I can. You can see inside all that propellant there. That's what initiates and sends the bullet down the barrel. So all of that is ignited by that primer on the back of the case. Yeah, you see this here? That's what's, uh, the primer is what's initiating it. And see in there, that's where the sort of flash will come through. Yeah. It's not the sunniest of days, but thankfully this is a very sensitive camera. Uh, the TMX 7510, hope to shoot around 80,000 frames a second to start with. How are we gonna, how are we gonna get this shot? Well, I've kind of put like a remote pulley string <laughs> option so I can hide behind the table even though it's a tiny little two millimeter gun I don't really know what's going to happen when we uh yeah hit the I mean I, cap. I assume because the bullet's not held down super well the energy will be split evenly and it'll be case goes one way bullet goes the other way I should think so, so. yeah let's let's hide you away okay so I've got two seconds of recording it's a pretty tight shot um might have to go macro at some point Ooh. but uh we'll just start pretty wide see what happens all right are you ready to load I think I am. <laughs> so tiny. So tiny. Okay, we're loaded. Okay. Nervous? <laughs> I think I'm more nervous than it's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> you ready? Yep. Here we go. No. I'll try again. I think this happened last time where we it took a few shots to... Uh... Yeah, some of them just didn't work. Yeah. All right, attempting to fire. Just unloading it quick. Okay. Here we go. Bang! Oh, yes! Did it work? Yeah. Wow, so it doesn't even have, without the pressure, doesn't even have enough energy to get the bullet out of the case? What? Is that real? I'm blown away. Is there, there's a little, the bullet did come out. A little tiny bit, look. It's budged. <laughs> We budged the bullet by a millimetre. And it's like on a funny angle. You see how it's on a funny angle now? <gasps> so it doesn't have enough beans to come out of the case. I feel like it just popped the percussion cap and not the propellant. It can't have done. Well, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Yeah, let's have a look. I want to see what happened. <laughs> that might be the shortest distance a bullet has ever been fired. <laughs> that made no noise. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Lots of learning to be done here. There is. Oh, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. Down. Oh, what? Oh, and the propellant didn't get ignited. Wait. Wait, what, so what's what? Is this big thing coming out the plug, the percussion cap? Yeah. It blew back into the gun. What? So hang on, we can't see the projectile here. I assume- It like came back. It looks like, it looks like what, when a, <laughs> <laughs> like a space shuttle's yeah, re-entering. It it's like the heat shield. Or it looks like when one of the rockets are coming down and they're thrusting backwards. Look, you can see the projectile come out because there's a little gap in the fire. So there's basically, the, the, the percussion cap is made of those two parts, okay? So there's like a flat square bit and a rounded bit with three holes. And what happens is you percuss the percussion cap, yeah. squishes the propellant inside, and then those three holes that you can see of that second part that came out escape and initiate the propellant inside the bullet. The entire problem here then is that we wrecked the back of the bullet. Correct. Interesting. So we were maybe hitting it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't ignite the propellant inside the bullet. But how's it shooting out? Because what happened is the, it's, the only thing that's exploded out of the bullet is the percussion cap ex itself. And instead of forcing the gas around into the bullet, like into the cartridge where it's supposed to go, it just sort of put a little bit of gas in there and forced all the propellant beans out. But explain this. What? 
It's just like a second load. I think it's firing. That's, that's, that's what's happening. Because we've lost the percussion cap, because it came off, that means that it, there's nothing to propel against the back of. It's fired it out and now it's just like burning inside the cartridge case. Can you see all the way through? Yeah, you can see it's all like burnt propellant at the sides there. All right, we've got a little bit more light now, so I'm ditching the top and bottom of the frame. There's not really anything happening there anyway. Lowering the resolution and we're now at 300,000 frames a second. Do you feel like you're doing surgery? It's like that game where you have to like... Operation. Yeah, that's the one. Firing. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it missed, I don't know. No idea. <laughs> I really wonder what happened here. So I'm pretty sure I got the aim right. It looks like it's gonna hit. Yeah, it's like lined up nicely. It's true. Wow, look how slowly the hammer's going now. <laughs> That's leisurely, isn't it? It is. Come on. Ding. What's happening? Did it work? What? Bit of a delay, isn't it? What? Maybe it was like a misfire somehow. Oh, oh God. Ping. Oh, it came low. Oh, it came in two pieces. It broke. I wonder if the barrel's damaged and it's like shredding them up. God, it's quite a lot of beans it's got for such a tiny little thing. Yeah. So many beans, it's destroying the bullet it's trying to fire. That's mental. Keep at it. Yeah, I might try the ball rounds again. What do you think? Yeah, let's try it. It's one of those videos where the slow-mo looks so much bigger than it actually is. It looks like a massive cannon. It does. Firing. Oh, yep, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Where'd it go? Oh, I smell the I smell the gunpowder that time. The bullet definitely went. Did you hear the difference? Because I couldn't see when I, I couldn't. I wasn't looking at it with my eyes, so yeah. I have no idea what happened. I don't know where the casing went. I don't know where the bullet went. No idea. It was very well lined up this time. Ooh. Come on. Oh. oh wow! Pull. Whoa! Flipping it. So it still wrecked the bullet? It still wrecked the bullet. But the bullet, but the bullet came out. out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we wanted. We got Look it. Look at all that happening there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at all. I don't know how. I wonder how much of the propellant got burnt there. I feel like it might have just been the percussion cap. Yeah, because all this is just completely unburnt. Unburnt powder. Yeah. So, But there was a flash inside. Like As the bullet leaves the case. Yeah, it was. There, there is some... <laughs> It gets fired back at equal speed. Yeah. Look, Kip. so there was a mild bit of burn, which that's what pushed the bullet out, but it didn't continue burning by the looks of it. It just kind of went fsss. It gets fired back at equal speed, straight back where it came from. Imagine just being like this, boom, <laughs> and like lobbing it back. It's like a game of really small, fast tennis. Yeah. So is that the bullet on the percussion cap coming back? Yes. So it delivered the bullet back to the barrel of the gun. Yeah, it went, oh, there you go, have it back, son. I wonder if it was just a small amount of the propellant burnt, but then as soon as the bullet left the cartridge, there was just no way it was all gonna continue to burn because it was burning so slowly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Wow, that is such an interesting piece of footage. That all happened in the tiniest fraction of a second. Let's time it from when the hammer landed to when uh, the bullet left. 300 frames. Wow, 108, what, what are we at now? 300,000 frames. <sighs> That's fast. That's like, what, a thousandth of a second? Something like that, it's crazy fast. 300 at 300,000, that's a thousandth of a second. That's a millisecond. A millisecond. Beep. <sighs> I wonder where it's got, I wonder if I can find it. All right, this is a jump cut. Uh, this is us from the future in the middle of <laughs> filming a different video. I've um, aged. That will, <laughs> You're uh, six hours older. Yeah. But we found the bullet. We found one of the nine mil bullets. Yeah. So let's uh, pace it out, shall we? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half paces. And I found the bullet here. Completely whole, unblemished, apart from a little bit of like gunpowder gunk on the base. So, uh, that's how you get a bullet out without pliers. Yeah. <laughs> without not, the rifling. Not a without... mark on it. <laughs> not a mark on it. No rifling, nothing. <laughs> Look at it. That's how you can tell it's the one that we've hit with the pin fire. It's not got any rifling in. It's gone quite far. Look back. I'm surprised, actually. It's pretty damn far. Yeah, for something that's quite heavy. Well, let's keep that. All right. Um, all right, back to the past, I guess. <laughs>
We have a second type of bullet, don't we? Yeah, so we started with the 9mm here with a percussion cap, which is made of, like I said before, the cartridge case, and you've got two little separate bits of metal and the propellant behind it. This here is a 2-2 round, smaller, but the percussive part here is called a rim fire, which means that it's all packed into this one rear part, which means there's no separate parts to come away. So if we hit it and cause it to initiate, then it's not going to sort of blow apart and not cause the bullet to go. So pretty much, if you hit it and it goes, that's it. So potentially just be able to fire this one without wrecking the back of the bullet, which means all of the explosive force will be still contained in the case. Yeah. So this will be a faster bullet exit. It, probably a faster bullet exit, yeah. But there'll be, because there's much less propellant, it's a much smaller round. There'll be less beans, but more beans. Somehow. And potentially more beans on the case going the other way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm <laughs> definitely right. going to be hiding again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's our 2-2 bullet on there. Longer, thinner, smaller. Lined up nicely. Nicely aligned. And as you can see, a little close-up on the back. Completely different rear end. Just like you, be. <laughs> a different rear end? <laughs> Just different from... <laughs> like... Well, you had spicy noodles last night. Oh, so it's, little... it's, it's different today. It's different to mine, I tell you. Yeah, tell you. yeah. Firing! <laughs> yep! Wow! Yes, indeed. Disappeared. I have no idea where that went. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. <laughs> that was a one take wonder. <laughs> that, that was literally unbelievable. your first take. Boom. Did it fire it or did it just hit it and not initiate it? Oh, oh it did. wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Look. And once again, straight back, back to the oh, oh my! It had that much oh. power, it dented the cartridge case. I think it's busted the end of the gun. Oh, it has wow. as well. Wow, and there's the bullet. Oh. See ya. That is out of there. That's what compression does. Now imagine that in a barrel, it's going to be way more. And because it's all going to go to the bullet and the cartridge case stays exactly where it is. And the bullet just shifted, didn't it? It did. That left. <laughs> it left. It really left. Incredible. Well, I think, I think we've got all the footage we need, unless we want to try a lovely, uh, pretty, adventurous probe lens shot. I mean, we can try it with the 2-2. Two 2-2? -two. Two -two. Yeah. <laughs> a bit too close. <laughs> yep! Got it! Wow. These go, don't they? Yeah. I'm okay. surprised at the, the gun firing that much. Oh, it's torn up the foam. Whew. How's the lens? Seems fine. Get some shade on. Ready? Yeah. Wow, that is a, that's a macro there. Oh, it gets a dent in it and then boom, it pops it back out again. Wow! So it dented it and then undented yeah. it? Yeah, it like went pong pong, like a, like a barrel being compressed and then expanded again. Pong. Dude, this speed, so this is at, this is at 75,000, because I couldn't get the, uh, yeah. I don't have the light to do 300 with this lens, because it's an f14. Yeah. So it's expanding so much, it's like, where can all this gas go? Well, firstly, pop this out, Yeah. because that was in. Yeah. Now we need more room, uh, get that bullet out of there. Bullet's gone, yeah. That is so immensely fast. You know, I never saw the uh, the dent in the previous shot. We needed the macro to see that happen. That was crazy. Yeah. It's like we're getting to see what happens inside a gun without actually being inside a gun. Wow. That was so cool. That was really cool. Yeah. That was a total shower idea that I sort of expected that exactly to happen, but the footage still blew me away, to be honest. Yeah. It was really yeah. exciting. It was just like what happens inside a gun except without the gun around it. So you yeah. can see all the little things that are happening inside of a gun. Especially on that 2-2 where you just see it slam against the back of the bullet. Imagine that was the hammer and that's pretty much exactly what goes on inside the, in, in the gun. Yeah, it's also a really good illustration of uh, how a barrel helps a bullet come out rather than the cartridge case. Because essentially we were just firing cartridge cases everywhere and the bullets were kind of going boop. Yeah, without any form of compression, there's nothing, there's, all the energy just goes everywhere. Yeah, it's not contained. Wow, I really, I'm really happy with that video. Yeah, I liked me too. It. it was great. I liked it a lot. Hopefully you liked it too. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo. You can check out our second channel, Behind the Scenes Things, and we've got merch. Ooh, I'm wearing some. You're wearing some. Pretty old one, that one. <laughs> well, it's still relevant. Do we still do that thing? What thing? If Dan sees you out and about wearing oh. 
some of our merch. He has to buy you a drink. That's just how that goes. Yeah, that's actually really true. <laughs> that's true. And I think you have done it every time that's happened. It's true. Although at like conventions and things sometimes. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so I don't think you could be going to one and be like, yeah, give me a drink. I'd be broke. Yeah. All right, well, let's pop this in the museum because it's pretty much wrecked. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.